Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Ethan, also known as ShadowDude17 here, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, something I wanted to do for a very, very long time, but I never got a chance to, so... <laughs> oh, sorry. Sneeze there for a second. Whoopsies. But anyway, yeah, this is an LP that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I never really got a chance to do it. I originally was going to do this on my old channel, like, back in 2010, but... I was in the middle of high school around that time, and yeah, well, I, I couldn't do it. Damn it. But now, since I have more free time, I'm actually going to get to it now. So yeah, the original Sonic the Hedgehog. I do love this game very much, and I thought I was going to get hit there for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will be doing all the original classic uh, Sonic games, not like one after another, because right now this is pretty much just filler to towards uh, Sonic Color. Since I already got Sonic Adventure 2 done with, I'm going to be doing um, Sonic Colors afterwards. If you guys remember me from my old channel, you may remember I made this list. And yeah, I'm so going to continue doing that list. And right now, I just finished, uh, well, not right now, but I finished Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So next, I'm going to be heading for Colors and then afterwards Unleash. So right now, this is filler. Uh, what also is filler is probably the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, if you guys are coming back, coming from the um, Super um, the Super Mario Brothers uh, Wii Let's Play, you know, with me and my pal Chris, and for those who are probably coming back from that, no, Chris ain't joining me, because, you know, he has his own schedule and everything like that, and, you know, I, I can't force him to, you know, do these LPs with me and everything like that, so, you know, I'm just going to be handling um, this game just by myself. Uh, will Chris ever join me in the original classic Sonic titles? Maybe. I'm most likely going to do this one and Sonic uh, CD by myself. Damn it. There we go. I got the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I will be trying to get all six Chaos Emeralds. And you're probably wondering, wait, six Chaos Emeralds? Well, for those who have been living under a rock for the uh, past uh, tw uh, two decades, at least for the two of you who are probably watching this, um... Yeah, there was only six Chaos Emeralds back then. There wasn't seven, and there was no Supersonic. Pretty much what the six Chaos Emeralds are for is just to get a better ending. I will try my best to go for them, but frankly, I'm not really shooting for them because, well, it only changes the ending a little bit. So, yeah, it doesn't really do that much. I'll explain in a second what it does, but... As of now, you know, I will most likely have uh, Chris, you know, come in from the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, because that's his favorite of the um, classic series, so it, 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 so uh, it's mine also. <laughs> so I may have him join me for that, but it's all up to him, though, if he wants to. I mean, hell, I can do them all by myself. And I miss the opportunity of getting another Chaos Enrolled, and I miss five rings. Yeah, the whole point of getting to the special stages in here is that you need 50 rings, and there's this big ring that you jump into like I did in Green Hill Zone Act 1. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, originally I was supposed to do this for my Funny Stuffy 1792 channel, but, you know, I never got a chance to do it. I think I wanted to do it around the time when I was a junior in high school, I think, and, well, shit. Those springs, I swear to god. Oh shit. Ah, take that. Not to get a jump just in case. Ugh, it's a good thing I had that good thing I had that shield. But yeah, this is something I originally wanted to do for a long time, but I, like I said, I know I'm being a dead horse at this point, but I never had the chance to do it, but now I do now. I mean, I ha don't really have that much time but I at least have more time than what I did in high school. Does that make any sense? Did, did that make any sense? I'm not too sure if it did or not, but I just wanted to, like, you know, remind you. <laughs> Ooh, cool. A free ten rings. At least I think it's ten rings. Oh well. Well, that was Green Hill Zone. It's a nice starting level to get you up to speed with the speed platforming that Sonic has. And now for our first boss. Uh, Dr. Robotnik, which is always Dr. Robotnik. And he has his ball and chain, and I can't believe I got fucking hit by it. Wow. I... Sh I should be face palming right now, but I'm holding the controller, so I can't really do it right now. I will do it after I'm done with the fight. Oh my god. I did it again. I actually got hit. This guy is so easy to dodge, and I've been playing this game for years. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, there we go. 
I was afraid I was gonna die there. I was afraid my recording curse was gonna come and screw me over in the end. But, uh, it's a good thing I didn't die. And again, I'm really tired, so I'm probably not playing at the best of my abilities right now. Who knows? But, that was Green Hill. Green Hill is uh, the very first uh, zone ever introduced since Sonic M. Gets us used to the whole speeding platforming. It's a nice balance of platforming and speed. And then we get to this place, Marble Zone. Which is, well... If, if it's like playing Sonic in a Mario game. I, I'm serious. Marble Zone, how it is, it's just it's it's platform-esque. It really is platform-esque, if, if that's even a word. But... You know, it's very platform-esque, and, you know, there's really not too much speed to it. There kind of is, if you know how to, uh, if you know the layout to these uh, levels really well. But, um, you know, it's so clunky and slow and very monotonous and everything like that. I mean, I don't hate the level. I just say, you're so used to all the speeding and, the, you know, the nice balance of speed and platformer that Green Hill gives you. And you come to Marble Zone here, and then that whole vibe, you know, it's just gone. It's just, it's just gone. That's no problem for me, though, because this place does have a kick-ass soundtrack. I mean, look at this. We're doing all these, like, certain, uh, platforming things that you expect to see in a Mario game. I, I just don't know why. But, hey, it's not worse. This ain't the worst level. There's one other level that's more terrible than this, Labyrinth Zone. Ugh, we'll be getting to that soon. And go to the left over here, and you get all these secret goodies. Oh shit, I better move. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to get crushed. Even the shield cannot save you from getting crushed. Alley oop. I knew there was two badniks up here. Yeah, all the robots around here are called badniks. Uh, robots are powered by the animals that, um... You know, Sonic is trying to save, and yeah, that's pretty much his whole goal, is to save all the animals from Robotnik. That's pretty much how it was back in the old Sonic games. I mean, Sonic, it, it doesn't really get too much story heavy until Sonic uh, 3 and um, Knuckles, but yeah, until then, it's just, you know, him just saving all the woodland crit critters and everything like that, you know. Sonic was really a, uh, really an environmentalist back then. <laughs> you know, an animal savior and whatnot. And I think I need to go this way. Nope, not that way. Oh, jeez, bumpers. Hate bumpers so much. Yeah, the special stages in here... Oh, God, they make me throw up. They really do. I do not like the special stages in here. It's just that not only that they just make me... Ugh, God, let me look at this stuff. I mean, seriously, what? how much crack was freaking Sega smoking at the time when they made this? I swear, I wonder how much crack they were smoking at the time of this. But Jesus, man. Jesus. I mean, look at the background. I mean, you got fish. I mean, we got birds and tiles and all that. I mean, seriously, it's one trippy world. Ah, look, I gotta continue. Which is worth something back then in these old Sonic games. But, you know, when it comes to Sonic 3 and uh, Knuckles, and they have the saving feature, it doesn't mean jack shit anymore. <laughs> but uh, they were important back then. I swear to God, they were important back then. See, kiddos? This was the times when continues were important. We didn't have any of them saving features. <laughs> and again, I wasn't even born when this game came out. I was born when, um, Sonic of uh, not Sonic Adventure. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Got my second Chaos Emerald, the yellow Chaos Emeralds. So, two out of, uh, six. That's great. And I got myself a continue just in case I effed up because I did record this once and I I had a little technical glitch in it. I'm not too sure what happened, but you know what? I'm kind of glad that I did not have that saved, only because it was a it was pretty embarrassing um, recording session. I died in Green Hill Zone. Can you believe it? I died in Green Hill Zone. <laughs> I know, right? Ugh. I'm glad I didn't keep that footage, and I'm pretty much starting from scratch again. This is only the second time recording it, so it's not too bad. And, oh shit! Ugh, caterpillars. Those are the, those purple caterpillar things are called. I hate them. 
If you want an annoying ass enemy, Caterkillers are definitely those enemies. You can only hit them in the face, and if you hit them anywhere else, you lose either your shield, which I have right now, or your rings. And I barely just got clipped by that freaking spike in. Actually, it's funny too. Um, there's actually the spike uh, glitch in this game. And this spike glitch only, only happens in the first Sonic the Hedgehog game and not the other ones. I don't know if it's an issue with the programming or if there's something wrong with the coding or anything like that, but basic logic of games, you know that every time you get hurt, you know, you have you your character blinks and you have these invincibility frames. Usually when you have the invincibility frames, you can pretty much run into enemies or walk past them and all that crap because, well, it's their invincibility frames, really. They... It, it's what it says, invincibility frames. There is really no point for you to get hit when you have invincibility frames. But for some reason, for some odd reason, when you jump into spikes, for some odd reason, and I almost made that jump, but thank goodness I had the shield so I don't lose my rings, uh, it's like they want me to go to the special stage. But anyway, for some odd reason, when you get when you jump into the spikes with your invincibility frames, the invincibility frames don't save you. It counts that it, when you go on the spikes in your invincibility frames, it counts like it's a second hit. And you know, that's pretty damn strange, I'm not gonna lie. I mean getting hit a second time, I don't know if it was a problem with the uh, coding or just bad programming itself. But in later Sonic titles, they do fix it, but I'm actually playing uh, this actually on the um, Sonic Ultimate Genesis collection that came out for the um, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, so yeah, that problem still is in here. I don't know why I did it not take it out, but eh, whatever. I'm trying to make sure that I'm extra careful. Aha, take that, Caterpillar, you bitch. BITCH! And over to the left here is... Ah, uh, uh, damn it. Oh, shit. Uh, checkpoint and more rings and I gotta be extra careful here because of those fireballs fireballs yum I uh, sorry guys I'm very delirious right now <laughs> so if I'm coming more annoying than funny then by all means go ahead say something in the comments section below uh, oh geez actually I just passed an area where you can actually score up to a bunch of rings if you happen to lose all of your rings but I think I'm doing fine as of now. I'm taking a lot of precautions. Uh, oh shit. Oh jeez, that was close. I wasn't too sure if the other fire thing was coming, so yeah. Uh, you see, when you have invincibility, when you hit invincibility box, you know it's no problem to you know run on spikes or anything like that. But when you are, for some reason, on uh, <laughs> on spikes on your invincibility frames, it counts as two hits. I don't know why. It, it treats you like you never went into your visibility form ever. Crap. There we go. Whew. That was close. Uh, but you know, if you've been playing Sonic games for as long as I have, or at least the classic titles as long as I have, because I do have the original titles. I do. All of them on my Genesis. And yeah, just you have no problem with it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Yeah, the, uh, those goal posts are very bad. Those things I say goal, those are a lot. That, that's a lie. The, the goal posts are a lie. Or they're not really posts, they're more dots, but still. They're a lie. They are only there just to, you know, get you out of the um, special stage. And that's what they're meant for. Oh, uh, jeez. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay, well, you know... Uh, if you're wondering, the Chaos Emerald is in this giant room. It's in the middle right here, but uh, this one's probably the most annoying one to get. Only because it's so big, and then they expect you to jump on so many things that... Uh, it, it's it's pretty damn difficult. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate that so much. But, uh, you know, I probably should explain the um, special stages of how they are. Well, as you can see... The whole stage uh, moves in a, you know, a clockwise way. There are things that can change the, um, change the whole special stage itself. You probably saw all those, um, R's that have been hitting. Those R's stand for reverse, and what it does is that instead of it having it turn, um, clockwise, it makes it turn, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it makes it turn fuck, but no. It makes it turn, um, actually counterclockwise, and yeah, pretty much so, that's what the whole purpose is for, um, making it turn counterclockwise, and, well, 
you know, it makes it more difficult for you to get back because, you know, if you're try if you're doing it like clockwise and you almost had it, well, unfortunately for you, if you hit the counterclockwise thing, you're pretty much screwed. So, yeah. There's also these things called up and down um, circles. Those up and down circles, what they do is they, they pretty much speed up of how fast the stage turns. Co press a couple of ups, it speeds up faster. Press a, uh, Hit a couple of downs, it s slows down. And that's what happened to me. I pretty much had it at a very slow pace that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to, you know, make it. I mean, seriously, how, I, how it was is that I was screwed from the beginning. So, yeah, there's really no point. <sighs> Like I said, I'll try to get the Chaos Elves. Try. I'm not saying that I will, but I will try. Oh yeah, I should probably actually explain why, well, what's the small change in the ending when you get all the Chaos Emeralds. Well, when Sonic reaches his victory pose at the end, when you beat the game and beat um, Robotnik for the final time, there's just flowers that bloom in the background. That's it. Flowers. And well, there goes my chances of probably getting a... um. Chaos Emerald, but then again, this is Act 3. Oh my god, I... I, I what? What? I... I... You saw that, right? I, I stepped... I... I... I was on the spike! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. You learn something new every day. I... I don't know what happened there. Usually you can't do that. Even in hell, if you touch the side of a spike, you know, you're screwed unless... But then again, it's been forever since I've been hit by those spikes, so... Yeah, what the hell? Oh, it's a good thing I didn't jump. I could have got squished there. But just... Oh, my god. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. I always have a hard time getting through here. There we are. Move this block right here. Oh, shit. Whoop. And whoop, whoop, whoop. There we are. Yeah, you want to kind of move that um, green block at the bottom so, you know, you have a stepping stool. Because it's really hard and really awkward to make that certain jump. Oh, there's something over here, but I guess there isn't. Well, there's rings and, well, bad nicks, but that's not really what I wanted. But yeah, that's pretty much everything about to the, uh, uh, dude, he's, he was in his... <laughs> running animation when I got hit. That's funny. God, lots of wonky shit is happening during this whole playthrough. Oh, God. He has to be facing the other way. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna roll onto you just because I can. Yes, go, um, seal thing. Into the lava. Wait, you're you're on the lava. What the shit? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Whoop. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I am right. There's some wonky shit happening right now. It's a good thing I got this uh, goal post. Or, not really goal post, checkpoint post, but yeah, good. Alright, I hope this doesn't turn into one of those glitchy Let's Plays. I mean, I kind of had one of those when I did um, Sonic Adventure 2, which was really not that long ago, but still. It's, uh... Still, you, don't, you really don't want to have a glitchy uh, playthrough. What the? Oh, okay. I, I guess it makes sense. I thought for a second I like glitched or clipped through the um through that platform when I was on the green box and shit. Well, there goes my shield. That's great. But um, yeah, guess so. Uh, all right. You know, I'm not going to risk those jumps anymore because. You know, I don't think I can make those jumps while, um... Well, let me try them one more time. Aha! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. You can actually make those jumps if you actually know what you're doing. And, you know, I know what I'm doing, but just for some reason, I... I don't know, maybe when I was talking, I was too distracted. Because, you know, sometimes it's really hard to do a live commentary when you're actually playing the game. <laughs> Especially when you're telling about the whole game itself. But, eh, it's no problem, and... Uh, damn it! Uh, not enough momentum in my jump. There we go. And there's our goalpost, and now it's time for the second Robotnik fight, which he is in his, uh... I can't remember what it's ever called. I think it's the... 
egg hover or egomatic hover machine. I don't know what it's called, but it drops fireballs on you. And what you just need to do is just get on the opposite platform and, you know, avoid it. You know, eventually, the fire does go away. And you do have to worry somewhat about the fire in the middle that pops up, but it's not really that problem. In fact, all the robotic fights are s pain in the ass. Or not. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you see how delirious I am? I'm thinking Robotnik fights are really easy, but I didn't get hit that whole entire fight. <laughs> I'm talking about um, very easy. The only, there's only one fight in here that just grinds my shit, but that's not until after this next zone we go to.